Good morning. Let's see who's hanging out here. Good morning. I see somebody. It's Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to do something fun. I have all kinds of good stuff ready for ready to go for us. So, um, as people jump on, hey, hey, Tiffany, recognize this guy? So, this guy is um, a big woolly mammoth. Could be a girl, whatever. Hey, Milligan, what's cracking, girl? Um, and so I wanted to show you guys, like I'm on this memory decks kick, so please, please forgive me. Um, hey, bestie, I'm coloring your favorite image. Um, anyways, I'm on a memory decks kick, so I, I mean, don't blame me, okay? It's just a thing. But we have these memory dexes, and um, the memory dexes that we've been doing, hold on, let me grab my other one, is getting these boxes, putting dowels in them so that they fit the cards. And this is just like an old school Rolodex. Um, Sandy decorated this one for me at our retreat that we just did, um, coloring at the Chateau. And um, so we make these little cards and you put them in here. These, all of these are made with um, Sweet Sentiment stamps. So there's tons and tons of ideas and things that you can do. Um, there's even musings of maybe a memory deck swap sometime in the future, we'll see. Um, but like 3D flowers, all the things. And then it says friend in the back, it's so cute. Um, so we're loving, loving, loving these memory decks. But with the memory decks, it's all kind of like cards and stuff. So I wanted to show you guys that you can make something super functional, and I call this my color decks. Um, and this is for when I'm coloring and I want different color blends. So I have my reds in here, my oranges in here, yellows, greens, blues, or teals, blues. Then I have blondes and brunettes, black hair. We're working on some other ones as well. But I just wanted you to see that I created this color decks and this one hangs out on my desk. This one is raw. I don't have it finished at all. Um, and the reason is, is when I get like ink and stuff on my fingers is I like touch it so that it gets worn in and it starts to look all, you know, super crazy. Um, I know, right, Milligan? It would be amazing. So, um... Sandy and I have to talk about a memory deck swap because we are so, so busy, but it has come up and it is on our list of things to talk about. Um, but yeah, we do the ATC swaps already, but maybe some sort of really easygoing memory deck swap might be in our future. We'll discuss. Anyways, so with the color decks, um, this is, you can buy all of these color cards on our website, sweetsentiment.us, and they are digital downloads. And so what happens is, is you will get both a blank version and a colored version so that you can print them out. The colored version, every printer is going to print something different. So um, that's why it's, you know, it's colored so that you know what it looks like, kind of. But then you get the blank version so you can color them yourself so you get a real true um, idea of what the colors are supposed to look like. Additionally, it gives you lots of coloring practice. You can go back to these and color them again and again. And when you're first beginning, these give you a really, really good idea of where to start. Hi, Meg. Um, and how to build color blends. And then as you get further and further along in your coloring journey, they actually help you to kind of create ideas for more coloring. Hey, Jules, um, for more color blends. And they're kind of become, instead of like copying that color, they kind of become more of a, um, like a, a starting place. They become a starting board for creating new colors for your own. So they're really, really, really cool. Super great idea. So I have deemed this my color decks. So we're going to start coloring things for our color decks. Um, these are Heidi Swap dies, and you'll see, hey, Linda Lou, you'll see they have the little tabs. So I just used one of those today to make my color decks card. 
Um, <laughs> Lauren's going to be coloring. And then this guy, which has, you know, Sandy and I reuse our paper a lot because, I mean, you don't want to waste paper, right? Um, and these got cut off in the printer. So, you know, it's a thing. So I printed this guy out. He's a digital image. You can also get him from the shop. I wanted to do everything with all of our digital stuff today. So you could see um, something that you can create like right now. So we're going to get started. Since this is going to be for the brunette cards, we're going to go all out and color him totally brunette. Um, I'm going to start by coloring his trunk and his legs or her trunk and legs um, because I want them to blend in and I want to blend the hair over the top of it. So I'm just going to give him like a super normal flesh tone to start with. So we're going to start with E triple zero and we're going to come in and I'm just going to kind of like fast and dirty color this one because um, I'm going to be blending hair over the top of it so it doesn't really matter to me Ooh, this marker see how the tip is discolored that means it's dry yes we have lots of digital stuff Ooh, and this is dry too that's terrible i'm not even going to use it lo and behold i have another e triple zero right here seriously right at the ready. So my boys are leaving because it snowed last night. And so they are going out to plow driveways with the snowblower. My husband's mother and my parents. All right. Fast and dirty color on that one. I'm going to come in with RV95. See, I really like Digi's too. I know, Michelle, but it was like one of my backup markers. It wasn't like a one that I use all the time. So I do need to clean it, but it hasn't been cleaned and filled and all that stuff. Um, Amanda, I'm totally with you. I love digital images because you have so many capabilities with them. You can make them, you know, you can resize them to whatever size you want. Um, you can flip the direction of them. You can add them into a scene so you can create yourself like a whole coloring book page. Um, like there's so many possibilities with digital images that you cannot do with a stamp. Um, I just really do enjoy digital images. Now, don't get me wrong. My stamps are my first love. But I do enjoy digital images from time to time. Just be sure you're always really careful to read angel policies for digital images because there are some very strict angel policies for digital images. So... If you have any questions, always text um, or email the uh, company owner because every company is a little bit different on what you can and cannot do with their digital images. But the artists work hard, so you don't want to do anything that'll disrupt the artists and what they do. Milligan, you do too? A digi tutorial is needed. I could do that. Um, there would have to be a couple of different digi tutorials because honestly, um, I work off of a Mac. I have all Apple products in my house. So um, it's different with Mac than it is for PC. But I generally just use a word processing program and that's fairly the same. Pages is fairly the same as, I mean, fairly close to being the same as Microsoft Word. You don't have to have any super duper special equipment. And if you're using sweet sentiment paper, you don't have to have any special ink or printer or anything like that. So how do you like them apples?
PC all the way. <laughs> Yeah, it is easy. Um, Kelly, so what happens is, like Sandy just sent you the link and what you do is when you purchase the digital image, um, it will come in an email to you and you click on the email and it instructs you how to download the image. It's very, very simple. Sounds like it's not, but it's super duper simple. It's literally just like click and save. Um, and then you just save it. Most of the time people have like a, um, a file on their desktop that's all their digital images or like a flash drive or something along those lines where they save all of their digital images. And generally inside that file, they have different folders that have different companies because a lot of companies offer digital images. So you could use, you know, a Sweet Sentiment folder and a CC Designs folder and a Greeting Farm folder. And um, I don't really know who else does digital images because I don't really keep up on all of that. But there you go. Ooh, this is why we don't, don't color with both caps on. Did you just see that big old blob? It's all right. I'm not too worried about it. It blobbed in a good spot. Not that there's ever a good spot for a blob, but you know what I mean. This is Sandy's favorite image out of all of our images. This is her most favorite one. Right, Sandy? <laughs> yeah, teaching moment. Ooh, grab your blankie. <laughs> Teaching moment. We're gonna blend out the blob. It's gonna be fine. Just in case y'all are wondering, I'm totally harassing my bestie here. Yoga hippo is not Sandy's favorite either. I mean, she loves the yoga hippo, but it's not her absolute favorite image. I just tease her because this is like her least favorite image out of everything we've done. She does not like this one. And it happens. I don't know what my least favorite image is. I'm trying to think. But ever since she told me that this is her least favorite, favorite image, I like to harass her with it. Because that's what besties do, right? She wouldn't, she wouldn't think that I loved her anymore if um, I wasn't harassing her about something. the sniffles today. Sorry.
Oh my God. Don't even, Lauren. Don't even give her ideas. That's probably it. It's probably the love bug that's the butterfly. You know, on the love bug set. I don't know though, that one's still kind of cute. Is Cheryl here? I didn't see Cheryl pop on. Okay. And then my favorite color, I'm gonna color his little tongue. So my favorite color is RB34. Yeah, I love that scarab. That is a cool scarab, and it's really fun to color. Really fun to color. Uh, I have it right here. Let's see, there he is. I love that scarab. Super duper cute. I am 55 inches. Um, Earth Goddess has got to be one of my all-time top favorites. Um, I agree with that. As, you know, I don't know that I have like an absolute, like this is the one set that's my absolute favorite. Um, Cleo in Egypt is up there. Um... Earth Goddess is up there. Um, I loved the Internet Troll. Um, Books and Bears. Am I Sandy? Yay! The Victorian coffee lady is awesome. Y yes, I love coloring all those pleats. They make me happy. Your bling looks like dog heads with the colors in the background. I don't know what you're talking about. Your bling looks like dog heads with the colors in the background. This? <laughs> Sandy says books and bears is my favorite. I love Books and Bears. I love the story behind Books and Bears. Um, I love the image. I love everything about it. I think, though, that among the top five is the besties set. Or top ten, or whatever we're going for here. Because um, it's our logo, and it's like when we joined forces, and I really really like coloring it. Earth Goddess was super duper cool though. Who said that? Look at your scarab card again. Absolutely. Wait, I think I missed something. <laughs> Rachel, I'm only four inches. <laughs> as superheroes, the besties as superheroes. Oh, 
Amanda, you said flicks. That's a dirty word. Dirty word. Notice how I'm curling these around for the way that his hair would flow. You always want to do your brush strokes the direction that the hair would actually grow on the animal. I know it is really difficult to choose. It really is because, I mean, we're kind of personally invested into all of them because of the stories behind them and where they came from and why they came into being and what we were doing at the time when they did come into being. And, um, you know, like Sandy and I are already working on like May and June images. So it's... Um, you know, by the time we have the release on these images, it's kind of, we're circling back to them. So we visit these images three or four times. Um, there's a lot that goes in kind of behind the scenes before you guys ever really see the image. And then... People like Lauren, who are on the design team, see it a couple of months before it's time to release. So, yeah, there's a lot of, a whole lot of time lapse on some of them. Sorry, I just hit the camera with my face. Archie, honey, no. Yeah, right here. <laughs> I'm sure eventually we will have our own mats again, but it's just not in the budget right now. And they are um, really a pain to mail. Like, really a pain to mail. So... Give us a digi so we can print it. But most people don't have printers this side. Aw, thanks, Nona. Yeah, he's doing better today, finally. Um, he He's still not there. He's still not great. Um, especially in the evenings. But he's getting there. He's getting there.
Anybody have any fun plans this weekend? Um, if you guys didn't see, Lena from Pine Barn Creations just randomly last night posted a contest. And all you have to do is post a project you've made using Sweet Sentiment stamps. And each project you post in the thread gets you an entry. And I thought that was super duper cool of her. So she's going to give away a tumbler, a personalized Sweet Sentiment tumbler. Um, just for you posting projects that you've made using Sweet Sentiment stamps. So if you have not gotten in on that, you're totally going to want to find that. It's in the news feed here or in the wall or whatever. Showing my age right now. Ooh, you got a shaker in the works? I know, her tumblers are really fantastic. Um, oh, you're going to a play? What play? Um, if you want to, Rachel, that's fine. This mammoth is totally rocking a beard, man. Look at those mutton chops. Aw, yeah. Something about witches. Don't even know what you're going to see. Just going to see it. <laughs> we need to plan a breakfast again soon, Nona. Or at least coffee. Or a crafty day at somebody's house. Or something. Maybe we need to get color dexes going for you guys. You have all the color cards, I'm pretty sure. Do you like how I made a new term all up on my own, a color dex? A memory dex is one thing, but a color dex, totally different. I miss Cheryl being here. She'd be talking about how fast my hand is going right now. She'd be making fun of me. Making me feel like I need another cup of coffee. One last color, here we go. Right, exactly, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Double speed. I love adding this E31 over the top, it just adds so much warmth. Or as Sandy would say, over top. <laughs> It always cracks me up when she says, it's a Southern thing too. It's not just Sandy that says it. It's a total Southern thing. All the people that I know from like Texas and Arkansas and Oklahoma and 
Tennessee and all that stuff, they say over top instead of over the top. All right, there's my little guy. I'm also gonna use this to color in his toenails because, you know, mammoths probably don't have very pretty toenails. And then to add a little bit of dimension to them, um, I'm gonna use my colorless blender, if I can find it. Oops. He's so cute. That's what she says. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just gonna like blend out the center of them. Colorless blender is a misnomer because it doesn't actually blend. It dissipates the other ink by pushing it away. So there you go. Now, his tusks. Tusk, 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 tusk. I also have my favorite blend for the tusks. This is the 5 5. Come around here. E53. Thank you. I think he's really cute too, even if Sandy doesn't like him. Um, when you buy the digi of him, you also get a digi that has a rider on top, a caveman that is riding him. And um, I love that one too. It, it, it's a little weird. I mean, because the caveman is very comical but I still think it's funny. And I made the whole stamp set with them and nobody liked them. So they appeased me and said, I can release him as a digital. And I did, because he's cute and funny and weird. <laughs> I'm in a mood today, y'all. Seriously, I'm in a mood. Hey, look, both my parents are watching. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start cutting him out. That's funny because my parents are probably both in the same room watching, too. My dad's probably in his recliner. And my mom's sitting on the love seat, literally right next to each other. And both on different devices watching. <laughs> they're, they're trying to get my numbers up for me. Much appreciated. <laughs> All y'all. Okay, so I'm going to start. Okay, so here's the thing. See how this has like a white spot in here? I can't, that's like my pet peeve, okay? Can't handle the white spot. Um, so I'm going to grab my sharp edge. I did some rearranging in my craft room the other day and I'm so grateful that I took the time to do it. Now, when you're cutting out with an X-Acto knife, it's not about pressure. Um, just like anything, cut in layers. So you don't want to put a whole bunch of pressure on it. That's how you get those weird, um funky like jagged cut lines so very little pressure and then just cut multiple times and eventually it'll turn loose just let gravity do its thing
Okay. Now, if you don't like your line, if you think it's not smooth enough, you can always put the very tip of your cutter bees to smooth out any lines. And now we fussy cut. Who here is a fan of fussy cut? Who likes to fussy cut? Stop making white spots. I just, it, I don't know. It's such a pet peeve of mine to see white spots. Like people spend all this time doing all of this cool card and, you know, picking pretty papers for the background and all that stuff. And then your eye is just drawn to this big white spot. I like fussy cutting, just gonna say. No to the fussy cut. You cut at the end. I am always afraid I will mess up my piece. Um, I can't cut, I can't color when I just have this teeny tiny little border on it. I have to have something to hold on to when I color. So, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. Me, what about you, Meg? You do like fussy cutting or you don't like fussy cutting? And Amanda, there's always something you can do if you do something terrible, like cut off his tail or whatever. You can, there, there's always something you can do to fix it. You can put a sweet pop under it and make it like a 3D tail so it looks like you were meant to do that. You can put a tree over it, like color a tree over it. So it looks like he's coming out from behind the tree. So his tail would be hidden anyways. Um, there's like all kinds of things that you can do. So it's just an opportunity for embellishment. If you cut off his tail, like grab some twine and comb it all out or some yarn or something and comb it all out so it looks like a big puff and glue that where his tail used to be. But yeah, I have to fussy cut after. Candy loves fussy cutting you, not so much. <laughs> yeah, see, Meg, you're my people. Where is Aunt Candy? Did she see my reel from yesterday with my cups that she got me? So the reel yesterday that you guys that I posted with the um, Valentine card using the Lucky Critter set, the cups that are in there, the first one says it's too early to deal with this BS. And then the one with the wine, the little wine glass says pairs well with BS. Um, it's from a podcast that my aunt and I love to listen to. And I recently got Joy stuck on it too. Joy, are you still here? Um, and it's called True Crime BS. Um the words actually spelled out it's except for s h and then the last two are asterisks but true crime b s and it's um done by a kid named josh hallmark and it is a serialized story of a serial killer um named israel keys that killed for years undetected like completely totally undetected um and there's so many murders that they think are his that they can't prove are his 
and it's fascinating. Um, oh, she is? So tell her to watch it. Tell her it's on my Facebook or my Instagram or whatever. Or I can just text it to her. Um, I just think she'd get a kick out of seeing my glasses. My cups that she got me. Anyways, so it's super fascinating. It's a podcast. It's a true crime podcast. Um, there's, uh, I think, like seven seasons of it now. So if you're just getting into it, you have lots of listening. Lots of listening to do. It's super duper cool, though. Fascinating. Lots of um, interview time with Israel Keys. <laughs> Your Jamie recommendations list. That is a very long list for you, my friend. <laughs> a very long list for you. I could keep you reading and doing recommended lists forever. Okay, so this is my Cardanch. Um, and I probably say that Carondanch. Um, yeah, luminance pencil. <laughs> Um, this is a white pencil and it is just the best pencil out there on the market. So I like to use it. Um, you could normally get it at Blick. Um, I just like to use it to add some texture. It's a little bit more of a subtle texture than the gel pens. Okay. I usually pull out my um, Faber-Castell. <laughs> this is Schwartz Black. It's teeny tiny, um, but just in case I happen to color over any of the black lines, I use that to kind of repair any of the black lines. Okay, so there we go. There's that. Now I'm gonna set him aside. I'm going to grab my card, and what I like to do I like to frame frame things out sometimes. So this is me doing just that. So I'm gonna grab my frog tape. If you guys don't know what frog tape is, this takes the place of the purple tape from back when purple tape used to be awesome. And it's not awesome anymore. So um, I'm gonna make a little frame around this. So I'm gonna set this on one of the grid lines so you can do this on your um, Tim Holtz board or you know your media mat or anything like that. I usually stick down one side and then I hold this and then I stick down another side. Okay, so now that I have one side down, I can do the rest of it. And I'm just making a frame around this because I'm gonna use um, my Distress inks. And so I want to have it be a little bit extra, a little bit special. I'm reading a really cool book right now that call, that's called um, What Alice Forgot. It's a pretty neat book. It's about this girl that she was at the gym doing like a spin class and she fell off the bike and forgot the last 10 years of her life. Um, so she has no idea what's happened the last 10 years of her life. So she doesn't remember having her three kids or like anything. It's really crazy. So I'm going to grab a couple of colors of oxide inks.
And I'm just going like super duper basic with this. I'm not doing um, anything too over the top here because I want the, the guy and the little critters to um, stick out. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sweet Sentiment Book Club. I ain't got time for that. But, I mean, if you want to, knock yourself out. <laughs> so I have ground espresso. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to blend some brown... Now, I could use a stencil on this. I could, um, you know, really go above and beyond on this. But quite frankly, this guy's so big, he's going to cover most of it that it's just not necessary for me. Okay. Then I'm going to go with peeled paint. Day. I love peeled paint. I think it's such a pretty color. It's like that really cool OD green color. Ooh, that sounds really good, Lauren. If you guys have not read Furiously Happy or listened to the audiobook, if you are audiobook people, um, Furiously Happy is one of the best audiobooks ever because it's read by the author. And so the voice inflection is right. She knows when things are supposed to be jokes. She knows when things are supposed to be serious, um, obviously, because she wrote it. Um, but Furiously Happy is an amazing, amazing audiobook. And um, probably top three for me. Um the next top, the next in my top three is The Art of Hearing Heartbeats. So, I don't even know what the third would be, but there you go. Okay, so now I have ink blended this. I'm actually going to use my spray bottle and put a little spritzy spritzy on it. Because why not? They are oxide inks and this is sweet sentiment paper, so... It does cool stuff. I'm back. Oh, we've been talking about all kinds of things without you. <laughs> she is my people. The Furiously Happy book. Yes, Jenny Lawson. Yeah, she's amazing. So um, listening to her read her own story is hilarious. Um, the art. Yes, Lauren. I did have you read that and it was awesome, huh? Lauren texted me. She's like, I'm crying my full little heart out. <laughs> I didn't cry when I read it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm heartless. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to make me cry. Okay. So I'm peeling these at very severe angles so as not to rip the paper. The more severe of an angle you peel it at, the less likely you are to rip your paper. I don't know the science behind it. I just know that somebody told me that once and it's always worked for me. So there you go. <laughs> You're a big blubbery sap. You should read the rest of them in that series then and you would probably really enjoy the other two. Um, the second one I believe is called A Well-Tempered Heart and then the third one is called The Heart Remembers. And I did read all three of them. The second one was my least favorite. The third one was great, but not as great as the first one. The first one was like, knock your socks off, amazing. Okay, so now I have this thing. Oh <laughs> yeah, I left two little spots there. Um, now I have this, and like I said, this is for my color decks. So I'm going to write the color on it 
the color is going to be brunette. So somebody tell me how to properly spell brunette so I don't mess it up. It's fun with the border. I really do enjoy putting a border on these. I'm just afraid. I'm I'm always afraid that I'm going to spell something wrong. Um, and that always gets to me. So B-R-U-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Okay, that was right. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. I'm just afraid I'm going to spell stuff wrong. And I often do. Okay, so these are my brunette color cards. And we're gonna put a big old brunette right here in the middle of this. Okay, now the other thing I wanna show you is that we have these planner stickers. And my planner stickers, um, I didn't round the edges because I did. These were like test ones and bad things happened. So, yeah. Um, so because this dude is so big, I thought it would be hilarious to put these little guys on here um, with him. So, look at Sandy, are you so proud I recycled my paper? Totally covering up where I wrote Burnett. <laughs> but that's okay, because I know what it says, and you know what it says, so we're good. Okay. Then I'm going to grab, I think I want this little dude right here. So these are why I took these stickers, because I cut them too deep. So, just so you know, yours aren't cut like this, but mine are. This is about the right size between a dude and a mammoth, right? <laughs> and then since he has a big old club, she's going to have a club too. No, maybe I want the fire one. I think I want the fire one. So just another way of using your planner stickers. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I love it, I love it. Super silly, super fun. Um, another cool way to use your planner stickers, especially if you're not into coloring, you can definitely use your planner stickers. Um, so there we go. There's our little project for today. So I'm going to stick this in my color decks box here where all of my brunettes are. There it is right there for my brunettes. And so now I have to make one for blondes. So you guys should tell me tomorrow, for tomorrow, what image, oh, you wanna see the scarab? Um, you guys should tell me what image I should use for the blondes. Here is the scarab. I put it on a wobble. Um, this is alcohol ink on Yubo paper. This is black jewels from the ton. And then, I don't know if you can see, I added glitter to the scarab. I really love this. This is one of my favorite memory decks cards of all times. 
um, the earth goddess. <laughs> See dog faces. Where are the dog faces? In the scarab's body? Like here? Or in the alcohol ink? Is this an ink blot test? Um, this is just Yupo paper and alcohol ink. Where I have the jewels. Oh, so you're saying these are little doggy faces? So two eyes and a nose. Two eyes and a nose. Two eyes and a nose. <laughs> That's funny. I would have never, ever seen that. And now I can't unsee it. Oh my God, you're terrible. <laughs> Milligan. <laughs> this one, yeah, for sure. Oh my God. That's awful. Never. <laughs> Oh, man. You guys, I swear. So back to the color decks. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow we need to figure out somebody to use for the blondes. Or we can do blondes or we can do the black hair. Um, so whatever stamp you think I should use for the blondes or for the black hair, let me know. And um, we can make that a thing. And then eventually I have to make colors for all these green and teal and blue. And I don't have the purple ones done apparently, or maybe, oh, this is purple. I'm missing a set somewhere. Those are blue. Those are green. I'm missing the teal set. Yellow orange, red, and there may be some more sets coming out very soon. Things with faces. Oh, that's funny. Um, Meg, I don't know that the Earth Goddess is going to fit in here, and she's not currently in stock. Um, Cleo needs a bleaching. Well, she could be for the black hair. I could use Cleo for the black hair. I can figure something out for that. Let's do that. Okay, we'll do Cleo for the black hair um, color decks card tomorrow. Although, you know I love Earth Goddess Meg. You know I love her. You're just playing with my emotions now. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at noon. And we will do Cleo as the um, cover for the, the color decks card for the black hairs. So thank you guys, and um, I will see you tomorrow at noon, and I will post this video to YouTube so that you can watch it again later and see the dog faces in the scarab card. <laughs> see y'all later. Toodles!